my big cottonwood trees. That's one of the limbs that was knocked down during the windstorm. I supplement the heat in my art shop with a wood burning stove. We had a very serious windstorm the other day that resulted in a lot of tree limbs and trees down in town, and including in my yard. As a result of the storm, my firewood supply has increased significantly and will likely double from where it's currently at. Lake Holmes in the background. Beautiful blue flax. Looks like water. Making some colloidal silver water to spray on a couple of sick tomato plants. Got some sickly tomato plants that I'm bringing back from the brink of death with some colloidal silver water. Just been spraying it on the leaves. I could just pull them up and eliminate the risk to the healthy tomato plants. But I've had success in the past with this colloidal silver water dealing with this type of a issue. I've been harvesting lettuce and green beans. I've got a few cucumbers that are near ready to harvest. I've got some onions that can be harvested anytime. Some fresh green beans from the garden. In the past, I've been cut several times by that rebar, but. Uh, since I put the PEX tubing on there, or started putting the PEX tubing on there, I have not been cut. I made my own uh, form oil. I use uh, chain bar oil and paint thinner to make my own form, form oil to paint on there so that the forms released from the concrete. It's about a half and half mix of chain bar oil and paint thinner. I've got these red reference marks so I know where to put these forms. Takes the guesswork out of it. Got them spaced just the way I want them to to make the best use of this horizontal level space. These are the base for the fence panels, just like those fence panels. It takes 21 bags of quick creep to make a base. The bases are tapered towards that black spot. What that black spot is, is a Folgers coffee can. That coffee can is just there to make the void. I'll cut the lid off and it's already cut through on the bottom. It's filled with dirt right now. It's actually filled with potting soil right now. Just so it wouldn't collapse under the weight of the concrete. So when I get
get it pulled into place. I'll remove the coffee can or at least the top of the coffee can. Poke holes through the bottom of the cardboard. And then I can plant the plants. The water, when it rains, the water runs towards the coffee can and waters the plant. I put the plastic down so the new concrete doesn't adhere to my old concrete.